HMS Richmond left her home of Portsmouth last August. Five continents, more than 33,000 miles, and seven months later, she returned safely back into port. HMS Richmond has had one of the busiest, most successful and vibrant tours, as the ship's company have had a real mixture of different landscapes and taskings. From patrolling the icy waters of South Georgia, to training with the US Coast Guards off the coast of sunny Florida. As is tradition, the captain, Commander Robert Pedre, walked off the gangway first to be welcomed by his family. Pretty much our first stop was in Cape Verde, where we conducted work with their Coast Guard, capacity building and training them so that they can continue the fight and the war on narcotics. As you appreciate, the Royal Navy's got a long and illustrious history of fighting narcotics, but if we can train up other navies and other Coast Guards to be able to continue that work when we're not present in their waters, then that can only be a good thing. As the rest of the ship's company, armed with bouquets of flowers, left the ship, it was an emotional reunion with their loved ones. Oh, it feels wonderful. Good, glad to have him home. <laughs> South Georgia is incredible. Um, elephant seals the size of cars and the little baby pups and the penguins everywhere. And then South Africa was just incredible as well. Very different to South Georgia. First tour away uh, brought back lots of happy memories from uh, when I was in the Navy some 20 years ago now. But... Uh, it certainly brought back a lot of memories, it certainly did. It's a fantastic day. I'm so pleased to see her back. It's, it's really, really nice to be home. It really is. Is it a good tour? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. The Type 23 frigate spent 2,881 hours at sea, visiting seven foreign countries and five British overseas territories, providing ongoing protection and reassurance to those regions. For many of the sailors here, it was their very first naval tour of duty. Stopped off at uh, South Africa on my 21st birthday and it was good going out there and uh, obviously exploring the environment. Um, challenging part, it's definitely got to be away from the family and friends. Uh, Miss them so much and coming back today was such a great experience. The ship's company may be home safely but they had to navigate a few storms on their last leg back to the UK. Everybody in the United Kingdom were aware of the recent storms, um, but of course we were right in the centre of them as they routed across the Atlantic. So we had to monitor our weather forecast very closely, and actually I took a detour some 300 miles to the south to avoid the very worst of the weather. But as you can see, here we are safely on schedule alongside in our home port here in Portsmouth. HMS Richmond has achieved a great deal in the last seven months, demonstrating the utility and versatility of not only a modern frigate, but also the modern navy. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Portsmouth.